You can get some phenomenal skin tones with gradients in Photoshop. And I'm gonna show you that in this video today. So basically skin tones aren't the easiest thing to photograph. Sometimes we'll photograph a skin tone and it will come out a little bit more washed out than we had anticipated. And a lot of times if we're not paying attention to the skin tones of the individual when we photograph them, we might completely forget to do this task that I'm going to show you now. Or you may have never been taught how to do this task. I know I haven't. It was one thing that I just kind of stumbled upon when I was creating my new gradients course. Both of these are stock.adobe.com uh, examples that have a range of skin tones in them. This is a carbon copy of the same girl that they made her look like she was a little bit more tan than she was in this picture. But given the lighting and the circumstances that you're under, even someone who is this tan or has this skin complexion may come out looking like this depending on your camera settings and the lighting and many different things okay so let's talk about how we can use gradients to get those beautiful skin tones back now let's first talk about different ways that we can select skin tones and then i'll go into the gradient use so what we want to do here is we want to select the skin tones of individual people i'm just going to do one of them at a time so let's go to select and i'm going to go to this thing called color range now there's two ways that you can select skin tones you can either actually physically go up to the drop down and say select skin tones and then use the fuzziness slider here to make sure you get a good blend or spread of those skin tones or you can actually go into the sampled colors and you can make a color sample and if you press and hold the shift key you can make multiple samples of those skin tones or even change the fuzziness so it doesn't work so fast so i want to make a good selection for all of the possible skin tones in this individual here we'll move that down a little bit that's not working out too well for me let's actually go and just say skin tones instead of trying to do it with these sampled colors either way can work and either way can produce similar results i'm not really too concerned with it here so i'll press ok i've got a good selection of these skin tones and it doesn't have to be perfect because we can always use masking blend if opacity fill whatever it is that we want to use to alter the selection that we've made. So I'm gonna grab this tool right here, which is the lasso tool. I'm gonna to press Alt or Option, and this will ensure that anything else outside of her does not get selected. So I'm just gonna trace around here and just say, nope. And then I'll probably go around her shirt too, because I don't want that in there either. Now that I've got her selected, I can make a gradient over her just by clicking on the gradient tool. The new gradient tool for Photoshop 2023 is absolutely phenomenal. Now I like to do this as a radial gradient. The way I like, to, the reason why I like to do this as a radial gradient is I want just like you see here all of the faces have this nice wash or highlight on their face and then it transitions out into darker complexion regardless of their skin tone okay so I'm gonna do the same effect so I'm gonna select the gradient here this is the gradient that I have selected I actually have 34 skin tone gradients that I'm going to give you uh, if you download these in the description below uh, so I'm just gonna start with it can really be any gradient for that matter so I'll just start with this one and then I'm just gonna click and then drag on out so I get that spread around her face. Okay, so something like that. Now the gradient itself is not going to look good at first. We have to change this to a blend mode. Now I like to start with something like soft light because I think it does a good job of making uh, things darker and also making things lighter. If it's above 50% gray, going towards white, it's going to get brighter without getting 100% white. If it's below 50% gray, it's going to get darker without getting pure black. So if you think about that in terms of color here, we are adding this spread of color it's not going to get to its pure potency of that color into the center of her face and then transitioning out into the darker color. So I've got that skin tone selected and that might not be the perfect skin tone for her face. Now, if we look at her actual skin complexion, this skin tone makes it appear as if she's got a little bit more peach in there than she should or a little bit more red in there than she should. So I can either click through my gradients here that I have and make that maybe a little bit darker or uh, that doesn't work out very well. Let me go into maybe this one right here. Okay, that one still a little too strong. So I'm gonna have to go in and change the colors manually. So it's it's coming off a little bit too uh, red on the red side. So let's just double click this color here and then come through here. And instead of being in the reds, let's move more towards this area and get more of like a brighter kind of beige-ish color like that'll work and then on this end of the spectrum here let's double click this and see what color we have here we are in the reds so if we actually move this up towards this way and go more into the browns we might get a better skin tone 
for her actual complexion and we'll turn this on and off and that might be a little too strong especially for her skin complexion that seems to have a little bit of that peach in there so let's blend this we're going to go into the opacity and drop the opacity here and get about a good 50 50 split here so what we're doing here is we're amplifying her skin complexion getting a more vibrant more rich color for her while at the same time drawing more attention towards the center of her face. Now you can use any skin tone that you'd like for this from my skin tone gradients. Let me go ahead and do that same thing again. So this time I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to go to select. I'm going to go to color range and then I've got the skin tone selected here. So I'm going to bring this a little bit further. I'm actually going to try and grab this lady right here in the center. So I'll press OK. That seems to be a pretty decent one. I'm going to use again the lasso tool. Press and hold Alt or Option to deselect things outside of that selection. So just kind of trace in between here because I just want her. I don't really want her shirt there either. And then go up and around and I don't want her hair. So I'll get around her hair as well. Now this selection doesn't have to be perfect because like I said, we can fix this up with our, our blend modes. We can fix it up with blend if we can fix it up with masking. We can fix it up with just about anything. Okay, so now that I've got her, I'm going to go ahead again and get a gradient. And again, this time I'm using that radial gradient that we have selected right here. I'm going to use my drop down of gradients and for her skin complexion, it looks like we might want to add a little bit of peach to her. She's got my Irish roots and has that pasty white color. So she needs a little bit of color added to her. So let's go ahead and just, like I said, almost any gradient to start. Let's try this one at first. Okay. And then we'll click and then just drag out again. We're going to make this spread to be where we want the, the viewer's eye to go. I want the eye to go right here towards the eyes and nose first so that's where the lighter color is going to go and then as I drag this out it's going to get darker so I'm going to again going to start with something like soft light because I think that that's a really good blend mode to start with and you can see here we've added a little bit of color to her skin but again her skin now that I look at it might have a little bit more peach-ish tones to it and if that's the case then I'll scroll down here double click this color on the darker side of things maybe make it even a, a more rich dark color and then come down here more towards the peach colors here or into the reds to get more of a peachish kind of brown in those shadow areas now if I go into the white side here or the light side I can actually change this to a um, a, a color that has a little bit more life to it rather than just being pale white because again we want that pasty white skin complexion to get a little bit of life in it okay so now let's turn the before and the after off on this one so here's the before so now let's turn the preview off on this one here's the before here's the after there might be other areas in here that we might need to paint out so I'm going to show you how I would do that with masking beef my brush tool and just use black to paint here on this you can use almost any brush I'm tip I'm using one of my blending brushes for that but I can go ahead and just use one of my soft round brushes when we use the uh, lasso tool to make to deselect things here we went a little bit uh, it's got like a hard edge on it so we do need to go over those areas and fill those areas in uh, okay so now let's take a look at the before and the after again she's got a little bit more life to her the soft light blend mode here might not be doing the best job for her though so I'm gonna change that to the linear light blend mode and when I do that you're like ah, oh, gosh I, like she spent way too much time uh, in uh, in, a, in a tanning booth uh, so uh, especially here on her arms her face maybe not so much she must use some blocking cream there but linear light doesn't use opacity it typically uses fill for its algorithm so as we drop the fill we can get a better blend here this will give us a more contrast while also bringing in some more color but you see we just get a little bit more life in her skin tones there probably a little bit more accurate to what her skin complexion might be here her skin actually looks pretty dull and washed out especially next to other individuals who have brighter or darker skin skin tone complexions she's got a much brighter skin tone complexion she's in these two obviously have much darker skin tone complexions whereas now we got kind of the best of both worlds she's starting to not be so pasty white in this group that that's one of my family members right there so let me go ahead and zoom in here it's not it's a stock image and I'm gonna brush with the color black over her eyes because some of it got into her eyes as well brush with black there and that will fix that up so it's really simple you just make a selection for those skin tones and then you add a gradient on top of that and you can do some wonderful things now you don't have to stick with the radial gradient like I have here if we go into our gradient tool we can actually make this a reflected gradient as well and then you can kind of have like this light beam of sorts where the 
lighter portion is right in the middle and it's going to transition out into darker skin complexion there uh, like this okay and we can dictate that spread by just clicking and holding and moving that over we can press and hold shift to maintain a straight or 15 degree increments as we go around and sometimes that is a better idea than doing the radial is doing a reflected to get a beam of that skin color to get a beam of that the brighter skin complexion transitioning into the darker skin complexion so one more time let's do this again we'll go to select we'll go to color range and i'm going to make a color range selection for this individual here i might drop the fuzziness down here a little bit because i don't need to go that far out with it and anything that is in white is going to be selected we just want a nice smooth transition for everything else I'll press ok now again i'm going to go ahead and grab my marquee tool alt or option to get all these uh, lovely women out of here that do not belong to the same skin complexion and select all that and then select all of this and again we might need to actually go in and do some more intricate masking and there's nothing wrong with that i like getting my brush out to be honest with you and then i'll just go ahead and go through here and get the rest of her hair out of there when we look at this though you'll see that some of her skin did not get selected in here so after pressing alt or option and then holding that and getting rid of all the other uh, selections if i press and hold shift and go over this area we can actually gain some of that skin tone back here in this selection so that it gets nicely selected for the image here so you can get skin tones back too just by pressing holding shift and, and making a selection on there so now with our gradient tool um, let's make this one a reflected gradient and let's give her let's, I don't know let's go to this one this one sounds kind of good and we'll just kind of click here and then drag on out again it's not meant to look good at first we have to change this to a different blend mode soft light actually looks great on her if we turn that on and off look at that beautiful complexion and look at how our eye is now drawn right down this strip of light that is going down the middle of her face down at her shoulder and that is looking quite wonderful and then of course we can drop the opacity here and we can also change this gradient to any gradient here on the fly as well so we can see what other gradients might have for her this might be one of those instances where maybe this client says hey uh, can you make me a little bit more tan and we'll say yeah sure we can do that why not uh, we just go ahead and add a little bit more tannish skin to that now we do want to stay true to the complexion of the individual uh, as best we can but at the same time we can also explore different uh, skin tone options for that individual this could be great if you have a client who is not happy with the way a skin tone complexion came out and you're like i don't know how to fix that that's how it came out of camera well this is how you'd fix it and this is at least a way you can fix it there are many different ways to do it this is just the way that i've come up with recently now what these gradients are these are transparency gradients which means that they will start out with a color in the middle and then they will reflect out to transparency so instead of being a two color gradient you have a one color in the middle if you don't want any brightness added to the center using a gradient like this might be a good idea because it's going to add the darkening to the sides but it's not going to brighten the center it's just going to darken uh, anything that's on the outside of that and it, again if you chose a radial gradient it would be no different if we chose this radial gradient here we might want to make that bigger though something like that you know spreads on out and then that could look pretty good for her as well it just darkens down that uh, edge on her shoulder uh, and, and really brings you towards her face might not be the best option for this individual i think one of these skin tones was actually better for her and i did like it as a reflected gradient over a radial gradient on her as well what i just covered here is one of many topics that i cover in my new course beyond color exploring gradients where i will show you how i use uh, skin tone gradients and many other ways of using gradients to uh, edit portraits by adding maybe dual colored lights to an individual or even changing the background completely and not even using it for complexion. If you'd like to get your hands on that course, click on the link in the description below. If you'd like to get your hands on the 34 gradients that I have for you, there will also be a link in the description below. By no means am I trying to falsify skin tones and skin complexions here. I'm trying to give you some added advice on how you can resurrect those dull, sometimes lifeless skin tones that don't photograph very well. If you like this tutorial, please consider subscribing. I like to take very difficult things in Photoshop and make them seemingly simple so you can use them in your workflow today.